Hi everyone, as I promised uh, we continue to review various military vehicles and this time we've got a really nice and fresh review I mean with this again really nice uh, release uh, as you can see it's Skoda PA2 which, is, which was called as Jelva uh, which can be translated as a turtle and this is a um, resin kit from CMK, it's done in 135 scale and as you can see it's packed in such a small box, you can see comparison with my hand for example. On the top we have this uh, picture of the assembled car, let's say. On the sides there is similar information. So, uh, that's quite interesting box because it opens I have to guess how I think it opens from the side yes so it opens like this and when we open it we see inside this so we have car body we have one bag we have second bag we have third bag we have assembly manual then we have some clear parts then we have P, fret and decals so let's check all those goodies a bit closer and see why this model would be interesting for us let's say so let's begin from the main part uh, from the car body as you can see it's quite huge I mean it doesn't fit even on my uh, palm. Uh, it's molded uh, like totally from resin as you can see. Uh, surfaces feature some fine riveting and it's really nice. I mean body itself is a bit heavy but detailization is really nice. Of course you won't be able to uh, replicate interior but anyway uh, it's really some good molding which would be accompanied with some other small parts and PE parts. Let's open first bag, which features plenty of resin parts. So we would have to guess what are these parts. I guess these are uh, top Edges, which are molded quite nice. I mean, all you would have to do just to separate from the base and glue them on the car. Then we have. I can't even imagine what this. <laughs> we would have to check a manual. I think it's as a gun bay. I mean, it's obviously has a gun barrel in the front as you can see and again molding quality is excellent uh, then we have several tubes which are molded separately let's zoom it in and focus the camera on this now we see it properly so it's like this Then we have special concave shape cylinders for headlights. As you can see there are two pairs of them. Obviously for front and rear part. Another gun. Then we have some minor parts various handles, switches and other cover of some hedge as you can see here again accurate molding of course you would have to remove some resin flesh but I think it's not that serious here we have another pair also really nice Two more guns. You can see them here. And what else? I 
think this will be some suspension elements. We will see further in the review when we will check the assembly manual. So this is the first bit. Then we check second bit. Which is even more interesting because it features um, parts from the black resin. And guess which parts are those? I mean, obviously, those are tires. I would show them closer. So you can see them here. And here you can see the fine pattern of the tire. I mean, it looks pretty convincing. As you can see, that's the reason. So, okay. Then we have three similar parts, which would be used, I guess, for the wheel arches. And here is not three; there are four of them, obviously, because there are four wheels. They are quite similar. So, nothing bad about them. Just plenty of resin flesh on the bases, but it's not that much serious as I said before. Then we have wheel discs. Again, four parts, all are similar. So, you can see them here. And from the other side, they look like this. Quite nice. Then we have... Let me pick up some resin flesh from the mat. Okay. Then we have, I think this will be something connected with wheels parts as well. Maybe brake rotors or something else. So let's move to the next bag. Next bag contains basically some suspension parts, transmission parts, which have really, really big bases. So here they are. What's interesting about them because is that um, parts are molded all together on a single part. Uh, you can see them here. Quite nice detailization, but I mean the part itself is really huge. It's really impressive. Very good detailization. And here we have another part. Again, this very nice detailization, even those like small things below are molded also. Just remove this resin flesh and you would get a really nice model. And then we have transparent parts, which would be used obviously for the headlights. I would show only one player because there are no use in showing both. So you can see them here. Nicely molded parts, I mean they look really crisp, surprisingly for the clear or transparent resin. Then we have decal sheet. Which is done in average size, but features all necessary symbols, and I guess we would be able to assemble several different versions of this car. So you can see here different number plates. Even here, Tsvichne is the which is like uh, studying, and here is Kushevny is the which is uh, testing test drive. Let's say. And here are various number plates. 
and here we also have small PE thread as I said uh, as you can see it features various tiny parts such as for example I would focus the camera for you now we see it here like for example those tiny chains or some minor parts for the number plates as far as I can guess really nice and of course assembly manual which is done in black and white let's zoom out a bit and now you see so here are all parts which are contained in this box then we open it and we see marking options which are available for this model assembly process is explained with the help of the 3D pictures which are quite nice I mean I think it won't be hard to understand them and here are more marking options again more marking options advertising of some CMK tools and here are some interesting resin kits produced by MPM Productions so this is pretty much impressive kit I mean in such small box we get such detailed resin car so it would be easy and interesting to assemble uh, molding quality is really excellent here and I would recommend um, this model for those who are let's say confident in their skills because you would have to, re to deal mainly with resin parts and mainly with PE parts so it would be quite a challenge but the final result should look really good I think so thank you for watching this review and don't forget to check the full article on our website and I would be happy to see that you subscribe to our channel and Facebook group thank you for watching and see you soon